Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and from the description of this video, you probably have an idea what this video is going to be about. Just a few days ago, we had a tropical storm that came running through New Jersey, up through Connecticut, causing major tornadoes to hit. Normally, we don't get tornadoes down here, especially where I'm at, we're outside Ocean City in Memora. Normally, we don't get tornadoes down here, but we did just recently, take a look. And so that tornado ripped from the Bay Area in, or the Sound Area of Ocean City and made its way all the way over the Garden State Parkway through obviously causing destruction. And we're about maybe a mile from the Garden State Parkway all the way back here. And so I just wanted to go ahead and walk around, give you guys maybe a drone video of some of the damage. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about it. And so I figured it's only a 20 minute drive from Wildwood. I'll come up here and film for you guys. Uh, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So I figured I would go ahead and give you guys a tour of a few of the buildings first before I put the drone in the sky. It is very unfortunate what happened here. I don't believe that anyone was seriously injured, thank God. From the damage, it looked like, I mean, we're very blessed that no one was, that nothing worse happened. I do know it hit like a trailer park. It hit uh, an area over here with the tombstones. I think it was like a cemetery. And so I figure we're gonna go ahead and start over here, make our way all the way to the Garden State Parkway. And of course, we'll have the drone for you in a minute. So let me flip the camera around for you guys. I decided to start the tour right here at this house, which is located right off of the road. You can see it right here. This is a great example of what happens when you have really old, tall trees. When a tornado comes through, this got ripped down and this got ripped down. You can see, this branch, when it fell off of this one, just missed the house barely. It hit the corner. Uh, there's a sign right here. The, see that, that red sign right there? Uh, pretty much says that you're actually not allowed back inside the house. And we're gonna walk around the building for you guys. You'll see there is trash thrown everywhere. There were signs here that get ripped out of the ground. Across the street, same thing too. I mean, their sign has completely been ripped down. But just walking around here, you can see the storm kept on traveling backwards. You have a long log that got ripped out over here. Circling around this house, you can see there's been damage on the very roof part. And as we continue back, it's weird how tornadoes work because they seem to only damage the things that they're right over. So you could be a foot, maybe five, 10 feet the other way and be completely fine. But if you're right on it, it's, it's not good because, and the reason why I'm saying this is because you get like this stuff right here, which is fine, but then you turn around and boom, this roof was collapsed in and the damage went that way. You can see these trees got knocked down. The power line, lines are down and on this truck. So you definitely don't want to touch that truck. You can see this roof had caved in. The damage is severe. I mean, look up through the siding and the roof here. You can pretty much see all the way up and through it. Yeah, not good. And we're gonna hang just a right over here for you guys, just so you can see all these trees. This tree absolutely snapped in half. Insane. That's a lot of power, guys, a lot of power. Oh, and I highly suggest not doing something like this because look at all the wires and things that are still on the ground. Obviously, I can't tell if they're alive or not, so I'm not gonna go near them, but we're walking past this tree that had fallen down and there's pieces of the house of that house all the way back over here. Now, like I said earlier, the tornado only pretty much destroys what it goes over. And so you can see how much destruction goes this way. But there's a car wash behind me that was barely touched. I mean, some of the signs, you can see the E's missing a little bit and some of the siding has ripped off, but not too much damage. But right next to it, all these trees get ripped down. Here you can see some of the siding that was on that house in the front. Yeah, and it's, it's weird to see all the trees down except for this one. Now I'm gonna walk back to the street for you guys and show you the other side over here because there's a whole condo association over there, which a lot of it are trailers. Just found that all the way in the middle of the woods. So now we just walked that way. We're on the other side of this building to show you the damage going this way. This was a guard house. Its roof was ripped up. You can actually see it right over there. And there's destruction in here. I don't know how much. I haven't looked back here yet, but you can see the siding on this building was ripped down. Oh, and I know some of you guys are gonna ask me, can you show us the damage of that? Yeah, 
this is, it was a lighthouse looking, uh, I guess, guardhouse you want to call it. And that really got ripped apart. Interestingly enough, it looks like the storm damage ends somewhere over here because I just walked back here and I didn't see any damages to the trailers. So let's head back to the street because there's another house I want to show you and then we're going to walk across the street and then put the drone in the sky. It's, once again, it's, it's mind-boggling to have known that a tornado came here. You know, I remember growing up, we never saw a tornado. It was like one tornado every X amount of years. And when it happened, it was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. So I just filmed now in the middle of the street. I don't want to get a flat tire. Um, and so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and walk down a little more that way. And as we're getting over here, you can see there's a lot more damage on this side. A couple of cars have been completely smashed in. Get this car here, which obviously took a big hit. I mean, it took a hit here in the front and here in the back. Look at that, man. Whew. Mamma Mia. And there's more cars this way with some damage. Some damage there and in the front. This tree was knocked down and this tree as well and that one back in the corner. This house sustained a lot of damage. This one's got windows broken in the back here. Looks like it got pushed off. This one has some damage in the front as well. See the branches in here? So a tree branch fell on this car. It probably was this tree went this way. And here's the other house I wanted to share with you. You could see that this one sustained a lot of damage to the point to where they actually had to board up all the windows, all the siding came off, roof got damaged here, and the next door one really got hit hard. I want to share with you this tree that fell. First, for anyone who wouldn't know what the orange note said, here you go. And this is the front of the house. It was obviously some kind of business. I really don't know which, I'm sorry, I don't know. Now wait until you see this giant tree that smashed into this building and this car. Yeah, that's right. This giant tree fell down, smashed this car like crazy, and then went in into this building, man. Whew. This must have been a giant tree too. Look how big the roots are. And here's the other side of it showing you all of the logs that came from that giant tree I mean, look at those rings. This thing had to be 70 plus years old. Look at all of this. A lot of damage. And there was more trees this way. A little bit damage in this window. And you could see that the wind was really ripping through on this window because look at those blinds. The blinds have been completely shifted to one side. So I went ahead and crossed over the street over there is actually where that car with that giant tree fell because there's way more damage on this side. I mean, there is more trees and things down. Yes, there's another house over here that got hit hard, but what I really wanted to share with you is this giant shed that is now standing on its side. I mean, you can clearly see this tree snapped in half. This thing was ripped up in the air. It's weird to see something like that on its side, right? It's literally something out of a movie. It's insane to think that this flipped up in the sky when this was obviously laying this way, but the boat next to it, completely fine. And this car got a lot of damage. You can see the windows were broken in. There's a tree on front of it. And it, I mean, this is, I, I can't say it enough on how crazy it is to see a tornado here in New Jersey. Now we're gonna continue up towards the Garden State Parkway. It's a little less than a mile now. Um, and then we'll get the drone in the sky for you guys. There's a lot of damage over here. This fence line, which was this way, is completely ripped down. Going back this way, you can see power lines, which are down right here. And all of these trees have been ripped down. All of these trees. This road is covered. You can see over here, these trees are ripped down. You'll see all these containers on the floor because there's a Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepsi plant right next door. So you'll see all these containers and crates. Here's a major cable here, so let's not walk near there, but I'm gonna show you on how many power lines are down. Looks like a lot of people are still out of power here. The fence that was pretty much here, where the factory is for Coca-Cola, is completely gone. It's been ripped out, you can see where the gate originally was. See the gate, there's actually no metal there anymore. 
see some of the wood going down this way. But more trees, more power lines down. It's gonna be insane to see once we get the drone up in the sky. So what I didn't know is, is that the tornado went through a cemetery, right through the side of it. And so right now the grounds crew are here going through and trying to fix up the graves as much as possible. Here you can see that this is all the tombstones kind of laid out. A lot of trees down. You can hear a lot of chainsaws because they're taking care of all the downed trees. I don't want to go inside and film because you have to have respect for the dead. But um, man, so it went from the grassy sound or the harbor, whatever you're gonna call it. I call it grassy sound because that's what we call it in the wildwood. But um, it went through the sound, AKA the bay, through the parkway and up this way. So much damage. You can see a lot of the lampposts have been ripped down. This is maybe the fourth one we've seen so far. There's a roof to something over there. But we're continuing walking down. You can see a lot of trees down this way. And once again, the graveyard over here has a lot of trees down. And we're almost at the parkway. So that ends the walking tour. That means it's time to get the drone in the sky. Let's do this. This is roughly the area that we're gonna be flying the drone in from the Garden State Parkway, all the way back over the cemetery towards those houses I showed you earlier. We can't fly over the highway, so there's only gonna be video of this from the eastern side of the Garden State Parkway. I can't believe the shots we just got. It's insane and how much damage that tornado made. As you can see, it went through the sound over the Garden State Parkway on an angle, made its way over, went through the cemetery, knocking down all the trees. You could see the way that they were falling in one direction. That's where you know the wind was blowing that way. How threw and tour through this house, tour through that house and that house, and it went further back into the woods than what we could see from the street. It went back and attacked that house with the red roof and just continued back a little bit further. So it went about, I want to say a mile, maybe a little bit more. I could be wrong. I, I, there's no real way of really knowing. I can look at the footage later and determine that. But um, what do you guys think? Thank God no one was injured. The amount of damage this thing caused, thank God. That's all I can say. But uh, thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, and I'll see you guys on the beach. See you later. Bye.